hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate 3js with an angular web project or angular js and uh, to and the output will be uh, to display this rotating cube so let's get started so i'm using angular 17 at the time of this recording so firstly you will have to create an angular project once the angular create angular project is created you will have to do npm install to install 3 3js uh, like npm install 3 and the library name is 3 uh, and here uh, you will also need to install types of 3 uh, so type definition uh, for the typescript file uh, next go to uh, src and here inside uh, app app component.html i have removed everything and here i have just taken a canvas uh, okay and uh, i have used this hashtag because we want to reference this canvas inside our uh, typescript code uh, and uh, yeah that's it on the html part and uh, if you want you can remove css from styles.css as well uh, as well as from uh, app component.css file as well next inside our typescript file uh, you will have to add all these imports first i'll uh, tell you what all uh, what all things uh, this imports do but firstly we are making use of this view child and here we are using the same uh, keyword which we have used for a hashtag inside our html file and we are getting a reference for our canvas uh, because everything will be done on the canvas uh, for rendering 3js next we have to call this after next render inside the constructor the reason we have to call this because i have enabled server side rendering for my angular 17 app and uh, canvas elements are mostly rendered on the client side uh, so yeah uh, that's why we have to use this after next render inside our constructor and uh, next here i am just create getting a uh, like our canvas element getting uh, reference of our canvas html canvas element then for size i am occupying the entire width and height of our screen first uh, to create to get started with 3js you have to create a scene uh, next here i have created a box geometry of 111 that's why we are see a, seeing a cube uh, next is mesh base, mesh basic material and the color here i have given this color that's why you are seeing a cube like this cube with this color next you have to create a mesh and to create a mesh we have to combine the geometry as well as material that's what i'm doing here next you can add your scene to your mesh now there is some other properties as well inside mesh like you can set the position if you want to uh, like x this position x this is x y and this is z now if i go here you can see uh, it looks a little different if you want you can uh, add some scale to it as well and here you can see it is now looking completely different if you want you can add rotation as well and here if you see it is now looking completely different uh, so yeah that's how you can add position scale and uh, rotation if you only want to apply it for some particular like only x coordinate you can use something like this as well uh, 0.7 then it will only apply to the x coordinate next here i have we require a camera to see this particular cube so i am using perspective camera then i have set the position of z of our camera to 3 so that our cube is properly visible then i have added our uh, camera to our scene uh, then uh, we are looking at the mesh position with the help of camera uh, next here i have created a webgl renderer i have passed our canvas to it then I am setting the size for our renderer by passing the size, width and size height. Uh, next I have created one clock. The reason why I have created this clock because we want to continuously uh, uh, rotate the uh, cube, right? Uh, so here I have called this tick, created this tick method and here we are calling our tick method. And this is just for closing our um, after next render uh, method. So I have just added that this code is not related to 3JS and uh, inside the tick method we are getting the elapsed time and depending on the elapsed time we are rotating uh, the uh, y of our mesh continuously and for that we are calling this window dot request animation frame and to show the cube we have to call this renderer dot render pass scene as well as the camera now if you don't want to rotate the cube if you want to keep it static you can just take this completely comment this out we don't require the clock as well and just write this save and here you can see you get the cube but you are uh, it looks like a 2d 
thing instead of 3d uh, that's why i have added this tick function so that uh, you get an idea on what exactly uh, of sure that okay this is exactly a 3d cube so yeah that's it for today's video thank you for watching bye